morning everyone and welcome to day 12 of my uh, video blogs. Um, I'm just heading out for breakfast, I finished packing this morning. Uh, so I'm off to breakfast now, probably Family Mart. Uh, and then I'm uh, off to the station. Okay, I've uh, had breakfast now, I'm heading to the uh, station to head to Osaka. I was going to catch the uh, bullet train, but it turns out the, uh, the station and the line that's right next to my Airbnb actually runs directly into Osaka. So it's uh, about the same amount of time because I don't have to travel to Kyoto Station for the uh, bullet train. And it's actually cheaper as well. Uh, but my uh, luggage has gained some weight since being here um, because i got all the sake in it. So I'm going to have to get a, uh, another bag at some point. Uh, this one's just not big enough now. Uh, everything fits, but it's overweight, so I I need a second back. Uh, but I'll see you guys when I get to uh, Osaka. Okay, guys, I'm in uh, Osaka Station now. Um, I had to change to get here. Um, on, onto a different train uh, and take the uh, circle line on the subway. Uh, but now I'm here because uh, I can't check in till uh, 6 p.m. at my uh, Airbnb. So I'm going to find the luggage storage room so that I can uh, store my luggage um, uh, while I look around Osaka so that I don't just sit around for six hours until 6 p.m. I actually want to go and do things. Um, so I think it's about 700 yen, which is maybe about five five six pounds to store my luggage for the day and then I'll pick it up later okay I've dropped my uh, bag now at the station I had to go over to uh, Shin Osaka uh, rather than Osaka station where I was because uh, the luggage room for oversized bags is actually at the uh, bullet train station so while I'm here I'm actually gonna buy my bullet train ticket as well for Friday Okay, so the first place I've come to visit today is uh, Osaka Castle. I've just got off the train. Um, I think that the train station pretty much comes out right next to the uh, castle. Uh, there's, a, there's a map here. I'm not entirely sure where I am at the moment. Uh, so I'm here. I've got to walk all the way around this river to get down to the castle in the middle. Um, I'm not sure the best way to do that. I think I'll just follow the path and hope that I get there. Thank you. 
uh, reached the top now. Um, I'm going to try walking around. I think I can go inside. I think it's about 600 yen, which will uh, probably be about five pounds uh, in UK money. I'm not sure what it is in dollars. Uh, so not too bad. It's about average, I think, for entry into uh, historical places in Japan. Uh, so let's go look inside. Okay, I'm at the uh, top of Osaka Castle Tower. It's about eight floors up. Um, the elevator queue was rather long, so I actually walked up the stairs, which uh, damn well near killed me. Uh, but the views up here are amazing. Okay, I've just finished at uh, Osaka Castle. Um, I've got myself a uh, grape flavoured ice cream to have. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick break uh, while I work out where I'm going to go to next. Okay, I've had a little break now. I'm thinking of heading over to uh, Yamida Sky Building because uh, it's close to Shinosaka where I've left my uh, bag. Um, so it won't be too far to walk before I have to get my bag and uh, head over to the Airbnb. Because while I can check in at 6, I think it's going to be a half an hour train journey from Shinosaka. Because getting around Osaka takes a very long time. Uh, I think some of the train journeys I'm looking at for different places I want to go and see are 30-40 minutes. Uh, but they're all inside Osaka, so it's uh, not too easy to get around. Um, but while I was having a break, I had a very nice chat actually. A um, retired Japanese man came up and uh, had a conversation with me and practiced, it, practiced his English. Um, I think he said that he comes uh, up to uh, Osaka Castle every day uh, since he's retired uh, just to talk to people and uh, practice his English, which is uh, quite nice. Uh, nice way to uh, deal with your retirement. So uh, I'm going to head over to the uh, Sky Building now. Okay, so I'm on my way uh, to the Sky Building now, but I've uh, come across uh, to Kumi Shrine on the way, which is quite nice. Okay, I've just arrived at uh, Yamada Sky Building. Uh, I think it's about a thousand yen to go up to the uh, observatory, which would be about eight pounds in UK money. But it's uh, rather tall. Okay, once you reach the 35th floor of the uh, building, you actually have to take an escalator up, um, which is transparent. It's a bit like a tunnel. It's gonna be a bit weird. Top of the sky building now. Uh, some amazing views up here. The sun just set. I uh, managed to watch that. I uh, didn't quite get it on camera though because there's uh, a lot of people uh, sort of standing on the ledge where the uh, sun was setting, so I wasn't able to get my camera in. Uh, got a few photos sort of other people who know uh, footage. 
but uh, take a look at these views. I've finished at the Sky Tower now, I've got to head to Shinosaka so I can pick up my luggage and head to my Airbnb because it's now uh, past 6 o'clock, it's about quarter past 6 uh, so I can check in, uh, they've left the key for me so I can pick that up when I get there um, so I'm going to get my luggage and head straight to that so I'll see you when I get to my Airbnb Okay guys, I've just arrived at my Airbnb, it took me uh, longer than I originally expected it's, uh, almost 8 o'clock now, I got lost in uh, Nambra Station for quite a while, it's um, absolutely massive, it has, uh, it's not just a station, a subway, it's a shopping mall, I think it also links to the airport, um, and everything else, and there's hotels and stuff in there, I was walking for 10 minutes just in a straight direction and it still kept on going until I actually managed to find an exit, but this is where I'm staying for the next uh, few days, um, so it's a small little room. Got a little closet, and uh, it's meant for two people, but uh, it's just me. So uh, two single beds. So what I'm, I'm there to uh, do now is um, unpack. Uh, I need to get some stuff out of my bag and uh, unload a load of the weight from my uh, day bag that I've been carrying around all day because my shoulders are now dead. Um, then I'm gonna go out and try and find some food and probably call it a night at that point. Okay, I've unpacked now. I'm just heading out to a uh, convenience store to try and get a uh, kind of bento box for dinner because uh, I uh, don't want to stay out too late and uh, eat a load of food and spend a load of money. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to get a quick quick and easy uh, bento box so that I can uh, get this video online and then uh, go to sleep and also plan what I'm doing for the next few days as I haven't actually decided. I've got a few ideas of where I want to go but I haven't actually decided what I'm going to do each day yet. Um, so let's grab some food. Okay, I've got myself a uh, kind of bento for dinner. Um, it's quite nice, they heat it up in the store. Um, a useful phrase to learn uh, uh, before you come to Japan if you're going to have any food and stuff that can be heated from a uh, convenience store is um, would you like this heated? Um, I don't actually know what it is in Japanese, um, but you, know, you kind of get the gist of it um, when they're asking you because um, they tend to be handling the thing that gets heated up. Um, I'm staying in a kind of Japanese mansion, which is uh, basically an apartment block. Um, so yeah, very tall high-rise buildings. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for today. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.